Dental Care for Children. Together we can spare tomorrow's adults unnecessary suffering and maybe make their world a little better place. So let's spend some time talking about dental care for children. Protecting baby teeth is important. After all, they're around for 12 years and not just as tools for chewing. Healthy baby teeth are just as important for language development, jaw growth, and the coordination of the mimic musculature as they are for aesthetics and therefore for your child's self-esteem. If your child already has carious teeth, then these need to be restored, even if it's necessary to do so under a general anesthetic. Any dentist who doesn't recommend treatment doesn't know anything about childhood dental care. Carious teeth are home to millions of bacteria and endanger the rest of the teeth. In order to avoid reaching this point in the first place, let's take a brief look at this video. Many parents think, well, my child rarely eats sweets. However, we only get a small percentage of our sugar intake in more or less the pure form. The largest share is hidden in processed products. It's not always easy to recognize sugar products in food items because the industry prefers to use scientific names for them. Some of the names to watch for include sucrose or beet sugar, which is household sugar, glucose, also known as dextrose, fructose or fruit sugar, lactose, which is milk sugar, and maltose or malt sugar. All types of sugar and honey have the same negative effects. They all help create caries, especially when sugar or foods containing sugar are frequently eaten between meals. Sugar generates plaque, which is a breeding ground for bacteria, and bacteria cause caries. Caries is very much a preventable dental disease. You can find out more in the video entitled Caries and Plaque. As a guideline, only allow your child two snacks per day. You might try the motto, we only eat at the table without toys, which also helps promote a balanced dining culture. After a meal, our saliva is actually able to repair the dental enamel that has been corroded by the food acids. But this process takes some time. Frequent and or particularly sweet snacks overstrain this natural and protective repair mechanism. Therefore, try to minimize nibbling on baked treats, bananas, candies, or sweets between meals. Instead, offer your kids sugarless products like whole grain bread or other fruits. Also, keep in mind that you yourself are setting an example for your child. Products advertised as being sugar-free are often not any better. Although they don't contain household sugar, they may contain other types of sugar. Therefore, it's smart to always check the list of ingredients. Although sugar substitutes such as sorbitol, maltitol, xylitol, or isomalt do not cause caries, they should only be used as a limited alternative for sugar, because often they have a laxative effect. Children in particular may be especially sensitive to even small amounts of these sugar substitutes. Thus, successive consumption of two or three tooth-friendly sweets in a row can trigger diarrhea. Start practicing regular oral hygiene with a toothbrush as soon as the first baby tooth is erupting. However, don't use pressure or toothpaste. The mechanical cleaning activity is the most important part. And, of course, after cleaning, don't offer the child any sugar-containing products, including milk. It's also a good idea to bring your child along with you to the dentist, so that he or she can get familiar with the dental environment before actually getting treated themselves. Use only a pea-sized amount, at most, of children's toothpaste as soon as your child can spit it out. Don't use any toothpaste with foaming surfactants, sweeteners, or other sugar substitutes. Also, watch out for dyes or preservatives and synthetic aromas such as strawberry flavor. This will only encourage children to swallow the toothpaste. Fluoride tablets for children are not necessary and should not be used. However, fluoride containing toothpaste is a good idea. You can make brushing a daily ritual in your child's hygiene routine by reciting a short song or poem during brushing. Also, make it a habit to perform a follow-up brushing on your child twice a day until they're 10. It's important to do this because it's only around the age of 10 that children develop their motor skills enough to adequately brush their own teeth. You are your child's best teacher, so allow them to observe your own body care. One of these days, your child will thank you.